What's up guys, it is Jonathan with One Big Impact. So first of all, this is a quick, really fast review on the Rock Hostel in Miami Beach, Florida. South Beach, Miami, whatever you wanna call it. Okay, so first of all, I've been here for like 20 freaking hours and I finally got in my room. A couple things that I wanna note. Customer service at the reception is really nice, although they do have to stick by guidelines and stuff like that. They did let me go into the area and chill a little bit early and also I was able to uh, take a shower and one of the guys even sneaked me a towel which was really really cool of him and he totally didn't have to do that and I'm really thankful for that so um, they let me put my luggage in there everything was good on that I'm trying to listen to see if somebody's coming in the door <laughs> but um, once I got in the room it was all good. Okay, so back to the reception area. Reception area is not hugely whatever, but they have some good, nice computers that you can use. There's plenty of outlets. Uh, I haven't used the Wi-Fi or anything yet because it's in the United States, so I don't really need Wi-Fi, um, but I would assume it's probably great. It's a very hip place. Location, okay? Location, if you can see, like right between those trees on the other side, maybe like a five minute walk, you're at the beach. So it's literally really, really close. Like you could literally put your swimsuit on. I walked back here after my run earlier and swimming in the ocean and it only took me like two minutes. So it was really nice and I walked with no shoes. So that's how close it was. Um, as far as downstairs, they do have like uh, street tacos, they have alcoholic beverages, they also have um, breakfast is included and um, it's only for like an hour so you got to make sure you get it and I definitely heard that they don't have that option one of the most important things it's hot ass Florida they do have a working air conditioner inside the room which is really nice um, I'm trying to think about they have a pool table they have I always worry about people coming in I don't want to mess up with people's privacy and I'm also sketchy about making videos in front of people um, they have a pool table, they have a little chill area, they have a uh, radio that you can control, they have the ability to help you with um, going on tours and stuff like that for like discounted rates, which is really cool. Semi-private, as far as your little bed area, they give you brand new sheets and a brand new towel, no charge, which is cool. They do charge you a $10 key deposit and a $4 tax when you come, which is no big deal because it was only like 29 bucks. And for America, for a hostel, that's great because I haven't even found very many hostels in America. Um, one of the coolest things that I always want is going to be a light and an outlet in the bed, which is really cool. So you're not fighting over outlets. And then they also have additional outlets outside. Another cool thing that I was super excited about, and it was really easy to work, was the safe. My passport's in there right now. It literally took like two seconds. One more thing that I'm gonna show you. Parking sucks, by the way. If you're bringing a car, there's no parking here and they'll charge you 20 bucks for 24 hours and that's pretty much the going rate or $2 per hour. So if it's like 10 hours, it's like 13, 14 dollars or something like that. But this is a tiny little kind of kitchen area inside this area. They also do have a common one downstairs that has like an oven and stuff. Um, this is kind of just like a basic little area. It has like an ironing board. It has a sink. You can put your food up here. Maybe if you could, you know, pick up a hot plate. Walgreens is like literally right out that window, like right across the street. And by the way, that's going to be the cheapest place literally anywhere um, that I've found. Bathroom, super clean. No issues there. Looks nice. Everything as far as cleanliness of the hotel or the hostel is great. Honestly, like I saw them cleaning the whole time um, and it wasn't even dirty. So that was really good. And it's fresh. It's not like some of the hostels you may stay at. If you're new here, please check us out on Facebook. Our group is called World Travelers. Have a beautiful day. Be stronger than your excuses. Travel because you're not dead yet. And keep being awesome. Bye.